Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. If you guys have an Ecotec engine guys on Chevy or Oppo guys, we will show you how to clean uh, VVT solenoid. Okay, as you know, Chevrolet, Chevy and Oppo, they share the same engine. That Ecotec is used on so many Oppo and Chevy vehicles. We're talking about the 1.8 engine guys. Now, we will guys have more than 200 videos on this engine alone. We'll have everything from timing belt replacements to cylinder head, cylinder head gaskets, quite a few things. So, this is the engine right here. Stay with us and we'll show you what needs to be done now. You have two VVT solenoids. Okay, you have one right here, exhaust side, one right here, intake side. The procedure for removing and replacing them is the same, no matter where you're doing this or this one. And for cleaning guys, you have to remove them. Now if you have an engine light, sometimes that will fix your solenoid and you don't have to buy a new one. All the tools and parts that we use guys are listed in the description of the video below. This yellow thing needs to come out. Okay, like that. Now you can press in here and disconnect the wire. Just like that. Next we have one bolt guys and we need to use a reverse torque socket like this one here. It will be listed in the description of the video below. It's reverse torques 8 and the bolt goes okay like that so I'll go ahead remove that bolt once you get it loose usually those things tend to go by hand pretty easy okay just getting it off now and we'll be able to pull the solenoid out and show you what needs to be done to clean that guy so careful not to drop the bolt because it's extremely extremely short bolt okay like this one here now, that solenoid sometimes could be stuck really bad, sometimes it will come out easy, ours, we removed it earlier, but we decided to make a video showing how to clean it, so it came out easy. This is the solenoid, now, let me show you guys, okay, right here, first thing you see, some debris, right here, check it out, that definitely needs clean, that's the screen there, you have more screens here, and it's, even though we have the screens, sometimes things will still go in the solenoid and if it gets stuck there it might read it as the solenoid being stuck or uh, stuck open or stuck closed so what need what we need to do now guys okay we're going to need just a car battery here 12 volt car battery we're going to take some intake throttle body and air cleaner okay so let's come down to show you now this solenoid has two wires only only two wires and what do we need to do now guys? Okay, we're going to use alligator clips. Okay, with those alligator clips we're going to connect the wires to the car battery. Now, let me show you what will happen. When I connect it guys, okay, that thing will open and close. Okay, check it out now. So it, op it opens and closes. So with that spray now, okay, I'm going to clean the screen on the front first. Okay, really good. Then you need to clean the little screens here. Okay, clean everything. Now you want to go here in these holes. Okay, spray in every hole. You can see all the oil coming out. Okay, then you want to connect it to the car battery to you have the solenoid open and while it's open you're going to spray again why because okay when it's open okay it's actually you'll be able to clean more on the inside so you have to do that a few times guys and you should be ready to go practically after that so hopefully guys okay the video will save you some money thank you guys for watching please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time